Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we will learn the last topic in matrices that is quadratic form. A quadratic form is a second degree homogeneous expression. So look at this. This is a quadratic form in two variables x1 and x2. So look at the degree term by term. Degrees to degrees to again degrees to the degree of a product will be the sum of the power now look at this this is a quadratic form in three variables x1 x2 x3 anyway for exam purpose the first thing you have to understand is every quadratic form can be changed into matrix form and it is very simple Look at the first one. There are two variables. So I'll remember a 2 by 2 matrix A11, A12, A21, A22. I hope you remember how to write the general format. It's very simple. First row, first element. First row, second element. Second row, first element. Second row, second element. Now look at this. This quadratic form kind of looks like x1 multiplied by x1. Then this looks like x2 multiplied by x2. And this one, I'm going to do it like 3x1, x2 plus 3x2, x1. It's just a memory aid, just a technique. And all you have to do is, you take the coefficient of x1, x1 and put it over here. Can you see? That is how I got this one. And diagonally, I am keeping 7 because a22, x2 into x2. Now, can you see? x1, x2, x2, x1. Okay, I will give another example. This is a quadratic form in 3 variable. So, I am expecting a 3 by 3 matrix. And you know the format of a 3 by 3 matrix. a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23. A31, A32, A33. Now look at this. I can fill it very fast. Diagonally 1, 3, 5. And this will be 1, 2 and 2, 1. So I will divide this by 2. And I am going to put it here. And here we have minus 6. And this is 2, 3 and 3, 2. 2, 3 and 3, 2. So I will put minus 3. Minus 3. And now the last one. 3, 1 and 1, 3. That will be 2 and 2. So point number 1, you have to understand every quadratic form can be converted into matrix form using the formula x transpose ax. And this is called the matrix of the quadratic form. This 1, 3, 3, 7. And if you want explanation, you can multiply this yourself and find that the end of this product will be the same quadratic form. If it is a quadratic form in three variable, same thing. The only difference will be x will be x1, x2, x3. Pause the video and multiply this once. I have shown the steps over here. Anyway, in your examination, ah, by the way, join us in Facebook, Instagram and do support us. Okay. Anyway, in your examination, usually the question will be reduce the quadratic form to canonical form by orthogonal transformation. If you know diagonalization, it's going to be super easy. Okay, this problem will be a test to check whether you are prepared for the exam. If you are able to do the diagonalization part by yourself, then in your examination, you are okay with eigenvalue, eigenvector, model matrix, normalization, diagonalization. That's it. And one more step and you get canonical form. So once more, you have to understand reducing to canonical form is literally something like diagonalization. Okay, so what I am going to do is, I am going to write like this. Let the quadratic form be Q of capital X. And now I am going to write Q of capital X equal to 
x transpose a x where capital X will be what are the variables here x1 x2 x3 and what is the matrix of the quadratic form very simple 2 1 1 and a1 2 and a2 1 can you see and a1 3 so minus 1 minus 1 and a2 3 and a3 2 minus 2 minus 2 and I want you to notice one thing can you see this is a symmetric matrix this is exactly what I kept on telling you in the last video orthogonal transformation a matrix corresponding to the quadratic form will be always symmetric so you don't have to use the difficult formula m inverse a m rather you can use n transpose a n if you did not watch the last video orthogonal transformation pause this and watch it i kept the link above click it and watch it okay let's continue so we have the quadratic form q of x equal to x transpose a x where x equal to this and where is that a i'll write a over here 2 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 1 okay this is a problem we did in the previous videos and it's an assignment for you maybe you're going to write the examination tomorrow pause it and try it and check whether you got minus one one four we had been doing eigenvalues for a long time if i show you all the steps it will be just wasting your time now i calculated the eigenvectors i got zero one one if you want the steps by the way if you want the steps what's the previous video and x2 is equal to two minus one one x3 is equal to one one minus one and then we have the model matrix the model matrix 0 1 1 2 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 and I told you the matrix corresponding the matrix corresponding to a quadratic form will be always symmetric what do you mean by symmetric read downwards or read sidewards you get the same thing hence we need the normal matrix so n will be do you still remember how you get n okay normalize or divide or make unit vectors so 0 by root 2 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 you will see the same problem in the last video 2 divided by root 6 minus 1 by root 6 1 by root 6 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 3 and then i hope you remember from the last video n transpose a n is equal to d because this is the connection between the given matrix and the diagonal matrix which has eigenvalues okay now look at this they have mentioned something over here by means of orthogonal transformation so in your examination they will expect you to do this drama no need to write like big big steps i'll give you a few steps if you find it logical you had to write it in the exam okay so in the beginning i told you every quadratic form can be written as x transpose a x you know that i showed you in the beginning now there is a orthogonal transformation it is called x is equal to n y where y is the new variable that will be y1 y2 y3 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this x with n y. So look at this. I'm going to get x equal to n y the whole transpose a n y. And n y the whole transpose is a property of transpose you might have learned in your high school a n y. Now look at this n transpose a n. What is n transpose a n according to the previous topic? it will be y transpose diagonal matrix y come on this is the quadratic form in y you got it so because every quadratic form can be written as x transpose ax 
so if you see y transpose dy it is the quadratic form of d and what is d come on d will be you can do this multiplication etc etc but d will be the eigen values and what are the eigen values in this problem minus 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 4 so this is nothing but minus y1 square plus y2 square plus 4 y3 square okay some of you might be confused i'll try to make you understand first of all every quadratic form can be written as x transpose ax and then what we did is we took this a we found the eigen value we found the eigen vector and we formed the model matrix and the normal matrix and we know n transpose a n equal to d you must show the steps if you do not show steps or if you do not do the drama you will lose mark now what we do is there is a transformation x is equal to n y and when you plug in the transformation our quadratic form will change into y transpose d y where d is the diagonal matrix because that is exactly what we learned earlier and this means this quadratic form will be nothing but our eigen values and in this case uh, or imagine eigen values are alpha beta gamma means your answer will be alpha y1 square plus beta y2 square plus gamma y3 square now listen very very carefully i just explained the outline of quadratic uh, or what you call quadratic form and canonical form etc this is not enough to score mark if you want to score mark at least at least work out three to four problems two from two by two two from three by three anyway this is the last topic in matrix all the best for your exams so i'll be back with more videos so till then my friends bye